Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to look into how to make a Twitch chatbot, but in this video we're going to be covering a quote system where you can add commands, add a, a quote, sorry, um, and then use a quote exclamation mark quote command to randomly pick one of these quotes when people want to see a random quote from the stream. So what you can do is open up your MSL dev and of course you then open up your MRC so it syncs in MSL dev and one thing I'm going to do just before we carry on is up the size on my MSL dev font size. So now I've made it a little bit easier for you guys to read we can see all of our INI files in here and stuff like that. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to MIRC, we want to open our scripts editor, make sure your chatbot is connected, um, and I suggest opening up a um, chat as well. So if you open it up here like this. Uh, we have not got our upstairs yet, so we just need to wait for that to come through. But while we're waiting for that to come through, we'll go to MSL, we'll go to MIRC, go to scripts editor, and we'll make a new script file. So we're going to go file new on our remote. We're going to write a random line and we're going to click save as and we're going to call this one quotes. And save as, what's it called? Quotes.ini, sorry. And what I'm also going to do while I'm doing this as well is I'm going to go view, I'm going to go to the announcer and I'm going to save that as announcer.ini. Rather than it being a txt, I want it to be an ini. So now that that's saved, I'm going to go back to my script editor, click load, and we can now make sure everything's saved as I and yes it is, that's good to go. So we're going to view the quotes, click OK. Right, so we're now in our, in our MSL dev, and we can see the quotes file here with a little bit of text, and we can just delete our random bit of text there. So we're going to create a on text command for add quotes, so we're going to do on, asterisk text colon text, colon, you should be very, very used to this by now. And then exclamation mark add quote, or whatever command you want to use to be able to add a quote, followed by an asterisk, then a colon, hashtag colon, and then an open bracket. Next line we can do an if statement, and we want the if statement to be if Nick is off in channel. So if Nick, follow sign Nick is op, hashtag. Um, and then we're gonna do an open, squealer bracket with return and then a close squealer bracket like so. Then we're going to write a quotes file. So if the user is off, we're going to write a quotes.txt file which is going to store all of our quotes data. So we're going to actually call this quotes info. So it's going to have all the quotes inside this. Now we're going to do dollar sign two and then a dollar sign plus. Next line we can do message in the channel. I want this to be added dollar sign to minus like that. This is basically going to say that add quote followed by whatever the quote is going to be is going to be added to the quotes info file. We do this by having our dollar sign to, which means the second word after our initial word in our command, in our on text command, and that's going to be added and then it's going to message the channel with what quote has been added. So it's going to be the dollar sign to command. So, so that's fairly straightforward, it's just going to add whatever is after this, so the second word, which is dot sign two. Right, so that's our command added. Um, now we just need to be able to read the command. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do a on text delete quote. It's, it is a little bit more confusing um, because of the fact that you have to go in and find, be able to trace that quote, and we're not adding a value to the quote at all yet. Um, so we're just going to... If you do want to delete the quote, just go into the text file and delete that quote from the, from the folder. So we're going to do a long text command, and this one's going to be called quote. And we can do the same again, like we did before, but this time without the asterisk here. So we don't need that. Um, so we're going to open this up. This one, this command needs to be available to everyone. However, I do recommend putting a flood on this, so um, I'm just going to steal the flood from one of these. Just steal this one. So this one's flood everyone, we're just going to change this to flood quotes, or quote, and we can copy flood quote to every single one of these. Feeling I went wrong there. Flood quote, flood everyone, flood, flood quote, there we go. 
this basically says that if the flood quote isn't active, so and it's not active for the individual user, they can go ahead and use the command. If not, then it's not going to let them. Um, so it stops them from spamming it. I've done a video already, it's the basic commands video, which covers floods. And it's going to be a 10 second command for everyone. So one user can use it and then another user can't use it straight after until 10 seconds after. And then the other flood is for each individual user, which will create a flood dot their username. Um, and that's going to be for 30 seconds, so they can't use the command for 30 seconds. So once we've done that, we can then message the channel. So we want to do message dollar sign chan. And we want to read the quotes dot the quotes info dot txt file. Um, so it's going to be a standard read. It's not going to be a read in the INI file because we haven't done the INI file to quotes info. We've just done a normal txt file. So we're going to do read open bracket just normal bracket quotes info dot txt and close it off. And that is all there is to it, guys. So we're going to save that. We're going to look in our RC to make sure it's gone through. It has indeed. And now we can open our chat. So we're going to open our chat. We're going to go add quote. Um, poop. Go submit our quote. MRC got upstairs? Yes, it is. Is MRC showing the text? Yes, it is. So we have a slight problem. I'll just see what it is. So I think what the problem is, is it's not actually writing the quotes info file, which means you need to create yourself. So what you do is you go to your app data. So you go into your Windows percent app data percent. You just type it in there. And then you'll come up with roaming and then MRC. Um, and then you can go in here. You can go file new text document, call this the exact same as what it's called, the quote info. So I've just found out what I did in fact leave out, which was the problem, is the exclamation mark on is op and also the minus after this too. Make sure you copy the code exactly. Clearly I am not writing the code correctly, um, but that should be working fine now. If we test it out, we already have one in there. Uh, we're gonna add quote. Uh, hello, and then we can go quote. We're gonna get hello, and then we can quote again. In fact, the flood system's working, so we can't quote immediately again. Um, but there are different quotes, and it will choose randomly from the list of quotes. It's completely random. So that's all really there is for this. Um, of course, you might want an else statement on this add quote. I don't know. Um, maybe you could add an else statement like. else message chan this this command is only available to ops or, ops or something like that. I'm gonna leave that out of this video actually. So once you've done that you're all good to go. You can try again. Well it might be the same one again. Yeah it has. But you get the idea it's gonna randomly pick a quote. So we can now go in and check our quotes info file. Um, so what you do is you run percent up that percent, you go room in and then you go MRC and then you can find your quotes info file here which has got hello and poop in and the read command reads one line so it'll read from each line like so. So that's all there is for this video guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I will be posting all the paste bins also in the description of the videos so I appreciate you watching, I'll see you next time.